Design 101 here with our first video tutorial of the Unity Play Game Visual Scripting series. Let's get started by creating a new project. We're going to call our project YouTube Unity Play Game Tutorials. And to note, this is done with Visual. Scripting. We'll put that in there. Now that uh, my previous workspace is loaded up, I'm fine. But if you guys are running Unity for the first time, you're going to want to drag these panels by their name. So hierarchy, you just drag it to wherever you want and uh, let go. It'll be there and get comfortable because now it's time to get started to set up everything else. So we're going to go here on window in the tabs here. We want to open up our asset story or you can click control 9 if you're on Windows. In our asset store, we're going to want to type in Ply Game if you haven't already purchased it. At this point, right here, it's $32. All you have to do is buy it and download it and then import. So I'm just going to click import here. Alright, so it looks like it's done. Just uh, doing some of the final loading, I guess. So now we can just uh, close that tab there. Our first objective is to click on the tools here in the top. Ply Young, we want to go to the Ply Game and we want to show the toolbar. Now, you won't have this uh, bar already here on the left, but uh, you can just drag like this and then shrink it. But in my case, I'm actually going to bring it back up and I'm actually going to put it inside this bar and then shrink that bar again because I don't need to have two bars there. <coughs> now, to fully get everything started, we need to click on the gear with that tool menu at, that we just clicked. If you hover over it, it says main editor. You're going to want to click yes and then yes. Now, in the main part of this, you'll have uh, your languages and stuff if you, in case you want to put languages into your game. All your game scenes will be in here, but uh, those auto, auto, they automatically add when you do it in your build se uh, section. So when you go to your uh, build settings and you add these there, that, that, that'll that worry about this part here. Uh, you could use global variables from here, we will talk more about that, but things you'll look at the most in the main here will be your loading and saving, so to delete all saves during um, during tests, and then your input definition, so you can change how uh, your game kind of plays or add functions to it. Uh, yeah, very good stuff, and it's easier because it's very visual as you can see. Uh, if I was to uh, want to edit action 12, it's the equal sign, but uh, you you have all your keys here, so you can set it to whatever you want on the mouse or the keyboard. So you can get creative. <coughs> Back into this here, you're going to want attributes. Since we're already here, you might as well add two attributes. Name the first one health. And then the second one experience. Now add health and add experience here in their proper places and we're going to leave that part alone. Your classes, they're very simple and kind of self-explained. The class goes for your player or your NPC. So we'll start off with the first class and we'll call that the player class. And we're just going to add all. For now we're not going to touch anything. We're just going to leave it as is. 
uh, factions. As most people understand, factions is just, you know, so that you can you know, be like a neutral and a hostile. Factions is used in all kinds of video games, so if you play video games already, you would know what factions are. But we are going to create two factions. First factions will be, uh, first faction will be the player faction, and then we're going to have the monster faction. We'll actually create a third faction here and call it pet. Because I will be showing you guys how to make pets in this game. And then with that, I'll be showing you how to make summons that will, you know, last for a certain amount of time and help and not be similar to a pet, but it'll be for another type of spell, you know what I mean? A skill. So we'll talk about that when we reach this tab here. So in skills, you can make skills. We won't worry about that yet. That's once we have a character playable and everything, then we can work with that. And then we also have to work with animations. So you'll be learning the cannon. You have your markers. This keeps track of your actors and equip slots and everything like that. So we'll worry about that. Then you have your loot. This is good for when you want to drop loot after killing monsters. And then this tracks your items and your bag. So since you're here, you're actually going to want to change your storage method to slots. And your item disable distance should be twenty between 20 and 50. So uh, just leave it as is. If you end up having loot drop issues, we'll talk more about what this delay would do. This keeps track of just the items that you have that are built and that respond with this plugin properly. So now that we have covered all the main stuff about the plugin, I will see you for setting up and getting a player that will be a capsule at first set up and walking in game. See you later.